I'm nervous. It's a lot different when you're in front of a crowd versus being in front of a camera. I'd like to thank CBS 46 for giving me the kind of opportunity I don't think I would have gotten any place else. Uh, a big thank you to my general manager, uh, Lyle Banks, my news director, Steve Doerr. Um, I'd like to thank Karen Greer for nominating me. We've known each other for what, like 20 years? And also for Evelyn Mims for throwing my name out there. Thank you, Evelyn. And we've also known each other back from our days at 11 Alive. And I was gonna sit here and talk about all the things that, that I've done. I was a photojournalist, I was a one-man band for many years, and uh, I love storytelling. But you know what, I'm gonna tell you one story real quick, and it's about a lady named Francine Diamondstein. It's the year like 2000, and I'm working at 11 Alive with Bill Liss, and I was the call for action photojournalist slash producer, and our job was to go out and advocate, which is what I do now. So I get a call from a little old lady, she's in her 80s. Francine lives on uh, Peachtree in one of the, uh, one of the, uh, one of the homes there. And uh, she's having trouble getting to the Brookhaven Kroger because there's a crack in the sidewalk. And I thought, this is great, we're gonna help the, you know, the little old lady. And so I call the county, DeKalb County, and we arrange the whole thing. And I go and I meet Francine, and I get, I'm the photographer, and I get video of Francine walking down the street. And as we walk down the street, she shows me the crack in the street, and she says, oh, I can't get to the shopping center to buy my groceries. And she goes across the crack in her scooter, and on the other side, there's the, the county waiting, the, the head of public works, there's Bill Liss, and there I am with the camera, and we tell her, we're gonna fix the sidewalk for you, and you can get to the Kroger now to buy your groceries. And this is a moment in television that many of us can maybe relate to, at least I can. As we're leaving, the story is over, I decide I'm gonna get one more shot of Francine Diamondstein as she's going back over that crack. And I'm, I don't, I kind of set up my camera on the tripod and I'm zooming in to the crack and she's going back, heading to her house and as she hits the crack, I'm zooming in getting a close up of the crack and her front tire hits it and it locks. And I'm looking through that viewfinder and the whole world stopped and I see the wheel turn and I hear a thud and it threw poor Mrs. Diamondstein into the street. Well, naturally, I'm having a heart attack, and I'm thinking this is going to be a lawsuit. Oh, my God, my career is over. And all you can see are people running. The county's there. Within 20 minutes, they had backhoes there. They ha I mean, they fixed this sidewalk by the end of the day. We get Francine out of the road. It dumped her onto Peachtree Street. I take her back home. I walk with her all the way there. I get to her apartment. I even heat up a, a Stouffer's frozen dinner because I'm feeling so guilty, and she's fine. She was wearing a big jacket. Well, anyway, I get back to the station, and we look at the tape. And you can see on the tape, there's the tire that hits the crack, and she had a wireless microphone on. And as she hits the pavement, Francine says, Oi, I think that proves my point. It was one of those moments that you're like, this is a moment in TV history, this is incredible. She was an incredible woman, she was fine, she was, uh, and, and, and she's just one of those fantastic everyday characters that you get to meet in this business that you don't get to meet any place else. You get to meet wonderful people, you get to meet interesting people, and then you get to meet the crazies who just make great television. So I guess if I had to go back in time, until I was 30 I would have done this and then I would have gone to law school, if you ask my mother. Uh, but this has been a lot of fun. So with that, I'd just like to say it's been a great ride. And I'll go back to my script here and say thanks to my mom for getting me here, for putting me through NPPA school. I'm Harry, she's Harriet, my dad was Harold. Uh, and I would also like to say, uh, finally, uh, I have a, I've been dating Barry Cohn for 30 years. Not 30 years, we've known each other for 30 years. Oh my God, we've been dating for 30 years. Anyway, we've known each other for 30 years and we've been dating and the ongoing joke is that wherever we go that we pretend she's my fiance, whether it's the dry cleaner, we're the dry cleaner fiance. If it's the, 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 the service man comes to the house, it's the termite fiance. Tonight, she's my silver circle fiance. 
And while I'm getting silver, I just want to say that this woman over here is gold. And that's all I want to say. That's it. That's all I've got. Thank you very much. I appreciate the honor.